right here. This is Rebecca, this is Pastor Bill, and Ruth's granddaughter. She comes on Wednesday nights. She is a live wire, that is for sure. <laughs> but she knows Jesus Christ personally. Grandpa made certain that, uh, that her, his grandchildren know Jesus personally. And Rebecca, I want you to just look at me here real quickly, and I want to ask you a question, okay? You know without a doubt that Jesus Christ is your Savior, is that correct? Yes. All right. And are you excited about being baptized today? Totally awesome. I know, I know there's a lot of people staring at you, but don't look at them, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just picture them and just, just keep this in mind here this morning, okay? Keep this in mind. That when I take you down into the water, that is going to be a wonderful, wonderful picture of the, your old life in Christ being washed away. And when I bring you up out of this water, that is a wonderful picture of the new Rebecca, the, the, the Christ-filled Rebecca, okay? And then also, it's got another meaning to it because even though I take you into the water just once, it also is a wonderful display of the death of Jesus Christ, the one who died for you on a cross so that your, your sins could be gone. Mm -hmm. Remember that wonderful message. Mm -hmm. And then when I bring you up out of that water, that is truly a glorious reminder to us of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Isn't that cool? Totally cool. Yeah. And we are not baptizing her to get her saved. She is already saved. And she already knows Jesus Christ personally. So I'm going to ask if you would please just hop down there. There you go. I'm going to grab my hands. Keep your and Father God, we just pray right now over Rebecca, and we just pray right now your special blessings over her and her faith in Christ, that, Father, she will grow abundantly in this knowledge of what Christ has done for her. Father, I pray your richest blessing over her as she grows and as she comes into a young adult, that she will be a powerhouse for Jesus Christ. And you will bless her in so many ways. Thank you for your protection over her. And now, Rebecca, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Come on down here. Really cool. Nathan, you know Jesus Christ also, is that right? Yes. Grandpa's made sure that you understand him and that you're, you need a Jesus Christ in your life because you're a sinner. You've sinned before, is that right? No, he couldn't have sinned before. Yeah. He said, yes, I have. <laughs> and because of that, then, Nathan, I baptize you. Because you know Jesus Christ personally, this is a wonderful day. Well, everybody here, over 100 people here today, are able to say that, wow, that guy really knows Jesus. Yes, he does. And he understands that Jesus Christ died for him and rose from the dead for you. All right? Why don't you step right down here, don't you, buddy? Grab my hands. Over here. Oh, Father, thank you for this young man. Oh, how we need more young men in the faith. And I pray that his faith will expound greatly in him. Expand in ways that will that will allow him to know your destiny is upon him. Thank you for leading and guiding him. Thank you for his family and them being an example. And we just pray blessings over him, Father, as he now grows deeper in his relationship with Jesus Christ. And so, Nathaniel, I pray God's blessing over you and upon your profession and faith in Jesus Christ. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, that you continue to just bless her and her family, work through them, and that this can be a, a truly um, a significant. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Say hi, Courtney. Hi, Courtney's been with us, oh, for the last, what, four months, um, three months, it seemed like four years, and, um, and she's just kind of been a consistent part of the group, um, a quiet part of the group, which is kind of aside from her other roles that she plays with her family and friends, she's usually the life of the party, um, 
but we've been able to, to sit down and, and, and she came to me, I, I guess I was the first, maybe the first, one of the first people to, to know of her decision. Um, and yeah, we're going to draw this out because it's so warm. Oh, it's so and, cold. Um, <laughs> and so she, she was able to share with me that she wanted to do this, Amen. why she wanted to do this, um, and was able to confirm that this is her decision, um, that she wasn't um, persuaded in any way, um, and that she really does believe in Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. And so I was just really honored for her to to uh, want to allow me to do this for her, allow um, us as a as a church to share this experience um, with her. And so it's just it's just a great honor. Amen. <laughs> so um, we'll just pray over you, and then we'll okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> Lord, I just thank you. Um, I thank you for Courtney. I thank you for, for the life that you've given her. Um, that today is a, a true testament to how you work in people's lives. Um, no matter their circumstances, no matter their past, um, that you, you build us up, you lift us up. And so I just thank you for this young, um, for this young lady that you've given to um, well, this world, but specifically to this church, to our youth group, um, that you continue to just bless her and her family work through them, and that this can be a, a truly um, a significant day in her life and a, and a public profession that this is her decision. And so it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 Go, Courtney. Sit down there. All right. <laughs> so, Courtney, upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Next we have Stephen, Stephen Murphy, and for those of you who don't know Stephen, uh, I've known him for quite a while actually. Um, he was kind of the little hood rat running around the <laughs> running around the apartment buildings when I was over at Columbia College, um, living with my teammates, and he was just kind of the kid that would hang out, um, and we we'd mess around with him and try to show him the right way and, you know, be a good role model, but probably didn't work out all the time. <laughs> um, that was before I got saved, so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, but uh, he, we were kind of reunited in a sense after I moved up here um, a few years ago, and, and we've just kept in contact um, since then. Um, and I've seen his, I've seen his worse, and, and, and through it all, today is a testament. Amen. Um, to what God is doing in his life, um, especially in the last few weeks, it seems like he's, God's really been tugging on his heart. Thank you, Jesus. Because um, he's he's starting to struggle with things that maybe he didn't pour that he incredibly nigh to in the past, and so it's really encouraging for me and for us to see him kind of own it now. Amen. Um, and so he came to Pastor Dave and I and, and wanted to take the of faith um, and and rededicate his life. Because um, that's what it's all about. So Amen. I'm proud of you as a as a brother, as a what I don't as a friend. Um, I'm just really proud of you for making this decision. Lord, I just um, would like to take this this moment to pray, brother, um, and with this church, and just thank you, um, thank you for this life, thank you for this young man. Um, that despite everything that he's gone through, he stands today. And that on the day that marks him from the cross, it would be a beautiful symbol for his life. Um, that the past is the past. Uh, we no longer operate out of a sense of guilt right. or shame. Right. We operate out of a sense of grace Amen. and love and mercy. Let's pray that you continue to bless this young man, continue to tug on his heart, Amen. continue to shape him and form him however you see fit. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. And my brother, 
upon your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the Father and the Holy And um, many of you have gotten to know her over the last couple of weeks. God has moved in Barbara's life in a very powerful way in um, <clears throat> the last year. Barbara, for the last um, many, many years, was uh, into nursing. And um, she served people and served people and served people. She's now retired from that. And um, God has been working in ways that have been absolutely in incredible, as she has shared it with me. Barbara knows Jesus Christ personally. Thank you, Lord. Personally. And it was so exciting to see how she got connected with us. It was through Pastor Bill. And he and one some of his friends. One man's trash is another man's That's treasure. That's right. One man's <laughs> trash is another man's treasure, she said. <laughs> and he just came into her property and helped her out. And uh, for no money, no pay, no nothing. And that made a huge impact on this lady's life. And she will never forget that. And she's fallen in love with the people here at this church over the last couple of weeks. And she truly wants to be a part of this body. Amen. And we rejoice in that. Yes, we and so, if you will... <clears throat> Father God, we pray right now over Barbara, that Father, as she now <clears throat> is going public with her faith, I pray that you will mightily bless her in the days ahead as she grows in her faith in Jesus Christ. Thank you for her testimony. Thank you that she knows Jesus Christ personally. Thank you for resurrection power that is around in, in her. And Father, we are so grateful for her friendship now and to be a part of her life as a church family. And so, Barbara, upon your profession and faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you now, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. being baptized today yeah. and for those of you that uh, know this young man you know what God has done in Charlie's life we do amen this is Charlie amen. in case you don't Charlie. know him Charlie the power of God has been on him for quite some time now uh, you know his testimony you've heard how he has been able to break uh, the addiction of meth on his life that was there for well over 15 years a life that was literally going downhill and going to be in the pit of hell had he not changed. And over the last year and a half, major changes have taken place in this man's life. Many of you have worked with him on the job site and know his testimony. Is that right, Deacon Rich? That's right. Amen. Many of you have seen how he has struggled to, to be able to stay on the straight and narrow. Many of you have seen the victory of being able to have his child back with him. Yes. And many of you have seen that the power of God keep him from that addiction, and we're so thankful for that. It is so thrilling, Charlie, to see what God has done in your life. And there are people that say there is no God. <laughs> I just cannot fathom that, no. folks. I cannot fathom that. Talk to Charlie. And so that's right. Come talk to Charlie about, the, about a God that truly lives. He is truly excited about his relationship with Jesus Christ. And so we want you to rejoice in that when we baptize him. So Charlie, if you will, please just turn around there. Grab my hand there. <clears throat> and Father God, we just pray over this man right now. A man who has truly seen the, the love of God uh, penetrate to the deepest place of his life. A loving God who has come into his life and taken the shame, taken grief, taken guilt away. And Father, now, He is living by the power of God in Him. The power of the living Christ in Him. And so, Father, I pray in the days ahead that He will continue to walk this great walk of faith. That, Father God, He will continue to be a leader in His home, 
to his precious son. And that, Father, people around him, people that I used to hang with, will see, as I know they already are, the power of God that is on him and the new walk that he has because of his salvation of Jesus Christ. And I pray now, Father, that you just watch him, guard him, put your hedge of protection around him. And Charlie, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. he thought for sure he had this guy forever. But now he is a child of the king. Give him a hand clap. Yeah. Yeah.